dear students welcome to my another session of lecture series on first semester mathematics course calculus and linear algebra particularly module 5 of calculus and linear algebra in the last class i defined rank of a matrix elementary transformation and echelon form of a matrix and considered few examples on determining rank of a matrix in continuation to that let me consider few more examples in this lecture so consider the example determining the rank of the matrix 2 3 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 3 1 3 minus 2 6 3 0 minus 7 minus 7 okay so this is a 4 by 4 matrix so we can easily guess its rank is less than or equal to 4 4 by 4 matrix 4 and 4 4 by 4 okay okay so now uh, let me Call this as the matrix A. Now, the leading entry in the first row is two. I have to make all entries below that element zero. It is always advantage having one in the first row and first column. The leading entry in the first row one. Otherwise also, we can make these elements zero by suitable multiplication and then subtracting. So what I can do? I can multiply within the frame of the row elementary transformations i can multiply row 2 the first row is r1 second row is r2 third row is r3 fourth row is r4 i can multiply r2 by 2 then i get 2 here then subtract r2 from r1 i get 0 here similarly i can multiply because there is not a multiple of 2 i can multiply this by 2 and this by 3 so i get 6 and 6 I can subtract this. Similarly, six is a multiple of two, two. so uh, R four minus three times R one will give me this element zero. Okay. Now the operations are like this. So this is equivalent to this is equivalent to R two R two R two times uh, R two will change with respect to the operations. 2 r 2 minus r because already because this is 1 so 1 into 2 is 2 so minus r 1 but whereas to make this element 0 3 i multiply r 3 r 1 r 3 by 2 so r 3 will change with respect to uh, 2 r 3 minus 3 r 1 r 1 3 r 1 Then similarly, because six is a multiple of two, so R four will change with respect to the transformation. R four minus three uh, times R three times R. Okay, so I get the equivalent matrix, equivalent matrix with this transformation. So row one is being used to make these three entries zero. So this is not changed. So I will write this first one as it is: two, three, minus one, minus one. Then uh, we can make enough calculation: two or two. So two into one, two into one, minus r one, minus two. So two minus two is zero. Two minus two is zero. Then the next is. Uh, Two times minus one, two times minus one, minus r one, that is minus three, minus two, minus three, minus five, minus five. So get minus five. Then the next one is two uh, r two, that is two into minus two, minus r one, so minus r minus five. So this is minus four plus one is minus three. So this is minus two, minus two. <coughs> the next 
2 into minus 4, 2 into r which is minus 4, minus r bar, minus r minus 5. So this is minus a, okay? minus a plus 5 is minus 7. So this number element is minus 7. So like that, you can make changes in the other of also. Now when I say this R3 will change with respect to this transformation or operation. <coughs> 2 times R3, 2 times 3 minus 3 times R1, 3 times this 2. So this is 6 minus 6 is 0. So this element is 0. Next. 2 times 1, R3, 1, minus 3 times R1, that is 3. So this is 2, minus 9 is minus 7. So yet, minus 7, minus 7. Then, the next element will change with respect to this, 2 into 3. R3, 3, 3, minus 3 times minus 5. So I get 6 plus 3. This is 9. This is 9. Minus 7, 9. Minus 
six R two minus six R minus six R two. Okay, you get the equivalent matrix. Equivalent matrix. So let me work out here. <coughs> so five R two is zero. So leave this column. It's perfectly R two. Don't disturb. So five R three. So five into minus seven. Minus seven into R three. That is minus five. R two. R two. This is R two. This is also R two. <coughs> Five times minus seven, minus seven times R two, corresponding element minus five. So this is thirty-five plus thirty-five, minus thirty-five is it? Minus thirty-five plus thirty-five is zero. So row one is a perfectly R two, so it does not change. After getting all elements, you know the leading entry in the first row zero. Don't disturb the first row. So write as it is: two, three. Minus one, minus one. Then row two is being used to make changes in R two, row three and row four. So that is also not disturbed. Zero, minus five, minus three, minus seven. So this is zero. Now this element is zero. Nothing will happen. This element. So then uh, with this operation, uh, this element is this element is zero. Now let us see what happens with this element. So five times nine <coughs> minus seven times minus three forty-five plus forty-five plus twenty-one sixty-six sixty-six. So this element is sixty-six. Similarly. Five times minus one minus seven times R two minus seven. So this is minus five plus forty nine plus forty nine. So this is equal to forty four. Forty four. Remove five from forty nine. Forty four. So this element is forty four. This element is forty four. Similarly, let us see the changes in the R four subject to the operation R four minus a uh, five R four minus six R. So five times R four R four is minus six minus six times R two uh, six times minus five. So this is minus thirty plus thirty zero. So this element, that is already a zero. So this is then <coughs> five times R four, that is three minus six times R two corresponding element minus three. So this is fifty minus a uh, plus eighty plus eighty. So this is uh, thirty three. Then I will interchange, push the zero row to the uh, bottom and check for 
whether it is in a ground for a part. So the next operation, what we can have is equivalent to is equivalent to. Now I am using R4. I am using R4 to make these two elements zero. To make changes in the this element, this one. So R3, R3 will change with respect to the operation R3 minus two times R4. Two times R4. So now I repeat that these two are all perfectly aligned. So you write as it is two three. 2, 3, minus 1, minus 1, then 0, minus 5, minus 3, minus 7. Now, uh, there will be a change in R3 with respect to this operation. R3 minus 2 times R1. So, because this is the, these two are 0, so nothing will happen to these two elements. 0, 0. Now, 66, 66, <coughs> Minus 2 times 33, 66, 0, 0. Again, 44 minus 2 times 22, 44 minus 44 is 0. So, R4 is being used to make changes in R3. So, this will not change. So, this row will remain as it is 0, 0, 33 and 22. And 22. <coughs> now, in the Eglon forum, there is a property that all zero rows should be at the bottom. So, I will literally change R3 and R4 to push this row to the bottom of the So, this is equal to, I will literally change R3 with R4 because R3 is a row with full zeros. And R4 is a row, uh, uh, R4 is a non zero. So, zero rows should be at the bottom level to the top, and non zero levels uh, rows should be at the top. So, this is equivalent to this is equivalent to. So, first two rows we can add as it is right now 3, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 5, 0, minus 5, minus 3, minus 7. Minus 3, minus 7, minus 7, then 0, 0, 33, 22, 0, 0, 33, 22, 22, then all zeros, all zeros, all zeros. Just look at the matrix now. <coughs> Second row leading entry to the right of the leading entry, just avoid it. Third row leading entry is to the right of the leading entry to the immediately above it. Okay? And there are no leading entries here. This is the echelon form. This is perfectly is the echelon form. Echelon form. Echelon form. Of echelon form of given matrix. Or simply we can write echelon for echelon for. So now count the number of non-zero rows here. There are three non-zero rows here. One, two, three, namely first row, second row, third row. So therefore, rank of this matrix is three. <coughs> Determine the rank of the matrix. 
is a three by three matrix. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, four, two. One, four, two. Two, six, one. Two, six, one. Two, six, one. Next 
2 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 1, 0, because this is not the equilateral of this element, whether you multiply by any number, this will remain as zero. you subtract with this or not, nothing happens with this element. Okay, already 0 is there, so 0 will remain as it is. 2 minus 2, 0. R3 minus R2, 2 minus 2, 0. Minus 1 minus R minus, this is minus 1 plus 1, this is 0. Okay. Now check for the transfer. <coughs> Road route. The leading entry to the right of the leading entry in the above row and all the elements below the leading entry is 0 all the elements above the leading entry in each column 0 Sorry. Below, below the leading entry in each column is 0 so this is the perfect in a column a column for a column for so number of non-zero rows in this column for is 1 and 2 so rank of this matrix is 2 so therefore rank of the matrix A is equal to number of non-zero rows is not necessary. Number of non-zero rows in the Agarant forum in the Agarant forum of the matrix A in the Agarant forum in the Agarant for of the matrix A. So this is equal to therefore rank of A is equal to is equal to Let me consider another example. Determine the rank of the matrix. Determine the rank of the matrix. 2, 3, 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1. 5. 2, 0, minus 1, minus 4, 5, 1, minus 4, minus 4, 5, 12, minus 4. matrix by a capital letter A R B R X Y whatever it is. So let me call it as matrix A is equal to 2, 3, 4, minus 1, 5, 2, 5, 2, 0, minus 1, minus 4, 5, 12, minus 1. Okay. So now there is 2 in the first row, first column. The leading entry in the first row is 2. So I have to make these two elements 0 without <coughs> disturbing any of these numbers. So what we can do? I can multiply this by 2, it becomes 10. Multiply this by 5, it becomes 10. Then you subtract. But 4 is a multiple of 2. So multiply R1 by 2 and then simply add because already minus n is there. So this element becomes 0. Okay. So let me do this operation. Uh, this is equivalent to 2 times so R2, we are making changes in R2, R2 will change <coughs> with 
respect to the operation, two times R two minus five times R one. Then R three will change with respect to the operation. R three plus two times R one. Two times R. So I get equivalent matrix. So this is a uh, three rows and four columns, three by four matrix, and we can easily guess the range of this uh, rank. Rank is less than or equal to minimum of three and four. That is three. Less than or equal to. Let's see what it is. <coughs> okay. So R one is being used to make changes. So I will return as it is. Two. Three, four, minus one. So no change in the first row. Okay. The second row will change with respect to this operation. Two R two. So let us see. Two times five minus five times R one. R one is two. So ten minus ten is zero. Ten minus ten is zero. So this element is zero. Perfectly zero. Next element is what happens? At uh, two times R two, two times two, minus five times R one, five times three, three. So this is four minus fifteen uh, minus nine. So this is minus nine. Then next element, two times zero, and two times R three, R two R two zero, minus. Five times R one, that's corresponding to so zero minus twenty, so minus twenty. So this is minus twenty. Then next element, the so two times minus one, minus five times corresponding element minus one. So this is minus two, uh, plus five is three. Minus two plus five plus three. Okay. So what happens to the next row? <coughs> what happens to the next row? Uh, <coughs> R three will change with respect to this operation because there is already minus sign. Uh, I multiply two to R one and then simply add. So this will change like this. So minus four. Plus two times two minus four plus four is zero. Is zero. <coughs> Then five plus two times corresponding element in R one is uh, three. So five plus six is eleven. Five plus six is eleven. Then <coughs> next element twelve plus two times corresponding element. Is four. Our one plus eight is twenty. So this is twenty. This is twenty. Okay. The next element, uh, R four, R three minus one plus two times corresponding R one minus one. So this is minus one minus two minus three. So this is minus three. Minus three. Now, look at these two rows now. So, so row two is perfectly aligned. Leading element in row two is to the right of the leading element in the row one. Perfectly aligned. Now, <coughs> below the column, below the elements of the leading entry in the second row, I have to make zero. So, I have to make this zero. I will simply add these two elements. This becomes zero. So in, in, in fact, in this case, what is happening? Uh, one is negative of the other. Uh, okay. okay. If you add R three with R two, then I get this zero as well as other two elements. These need not become zero, but in this case, it is happening. But my uh, <coughs> my aim is to make the entries below the. Uh, 
leading entry of each row 0. So this is simply equivalent to R3. R3 will change subject to the operation R3 plus R2. R2. Now R1 is perfect in R1. 2, 3, 4, minus 1. 2, 3, 4, minus 1. R2 is being used, so no change here. R2, so it's 0, minus 11, minus 20, uh, 3, then R3 plus R2, 0 plus 0, 0, minus 11 plus 11, 0, minus 20 plus 20, 0, minus 3 plus 3, 0. So this is the economic form. Ekaran form. This is the Ekaran form. So therefore, the rank of the matrix A is the number of non-zero rows in its Ekaran form is 1, 2. So rank of the matrix is 2. So therefore, rank of the matrix A is 2. Rank of the matrix A is 2.
Now I get the equivalent matrix. So row 1 is being used. So no change. 1 minus 1, 2 minus 3. Ah, now this will change. 4 minus 4, 0. So this is a, a calculation. 4 minus 4 into 1, 0. Then similarly, R2, 1 minus 4 into minus 1. So 1 plus 4, 5. So this becomes 5. Then uh, 0 minus 4 into 2. So this is minus 8. So this is minus 8. Minus 8. Then this element 2 minus 4 times minus 3 plus 12 plus 2 that is 14. 14. So this element is 14. So other rows will remain as it is because already these elements below the leading entry in the first row is the R0. So 0, 3, 1, 4, 0, 1, 0, 2. Twenty-four. 
5 times R3, 5 times R5, by plus, plus 24, 29. So this is 29. 29. <coughs> that 5 times 4 minus 3 times 40. 3 times 40. So this will be 22 minus 22 okay then R4 will change with respect to this operation so how do we do that 5 times uh, this is 0 leave this element 0 Next 5 times 1 <coughs> minus 1 into corresponding R2 5 minus 5 0 5 minus 1 0 The next 5 times R4 that is 0 uh, minus 1 into corresponding element is minus 8 plus 8 So this is plus 8 plus 8 Then uh, <coughs> 5 times R4, R4 is 2 minus 1 into 40. So 10 minus 40 minus 4. Minus 4. Minus 4. Okay. Okay. So now, <coughs> leading it in the third row is 29 is 29 it is the right of the leading entry in the second row so i have to make only this element is 0. 29 with this 29 i have to make this element 8 0 <coughs> so how do we do that <coughs> similar operation this is equivalent to equivalent to and multiply this by 29 and this by 8 and then subtract so this is R4 will change. R4 will change with respect to the operation 29 times R4. Uh, both are plus signs, so I have to subtract minus 8 times R3. 8 times R3. So row 1, row 2, row 3 are perfectly alright. So we are right as it is. We are right as it is. 1 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 3, 0, 5 minus 8, 14, 0. R3 is being used, so no change. 29. Uh, minus 22, minus 22. Now there will be changing. So this is because these two are zeros. This will remain zero. Now 29 R4, 29 into n minus now okay <coughs> minus 8 times R3. R3 is 29. So 28. 29 into 8 minus 8 29 is 0. So this is 0. Now, what about the next value? Next element 29 into R4 minus 4 minus 8 into R3 corresponding minus 22. So if you use the calculator and calculate this should be 60. So we get 16. 16. Now look at the <coughs> matrix now. Leading entry in second row is to the right of the leading entry in the first row. Okay. Second row, third row, leading entry is to the right of the leading entry in the second row. Okay. Leading entry in the fourth row is to the right of the leading entry in the third row. 
and all the elements below the leading entry in each column are zero. So see here, leading entry in each column, leading below the leading entry zero, below the leading entry zero, zero. Okay. So this is the Ekaram form. Ekaram form. Ekaram form. This is perfectly in the Ekaram form. So therefore, rank of the matrix of this A is the number of non-zero rows in its second form. Number of non-zero rows are 1. This is a non-zero row because this element is not equal to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. So rank of A is uh, 4. So therefore, therefore, rank of the matrix A is equal to So let me consider another example. Determine the rank of the matrix rank of the matrix one minus one two minus one. 4, 2, minus 1, 2, 2, 2, minus 2, 0. So minus 
minus 4. So minus 1, minus 8, minus 9. Minus 9. <coughs> then 2 minus 4. <coughs> Corresponding element is minus 1. Uh, plus 6. 2 plus 4, that is 6. R3 will change with respect to this operation. R3 is 2 minus 2 times corresponding element is 1. So 2 minus 2 is 0. Similarly, 2 minus 2 times R1 is minus 1. So this is plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4. Then next element is minus 2. Minus 2 times corresponding element is 2. So this is minus 2, minus 4, minus 6. So this is minus 6, minus 6. The next element is 0, minus 2 times corresponding element is plus 2. Minus 6 plus 2. Leading element entering the second row is 6. It is to the right of the Leading entry in the row above it, that is fine, but for anything I make this element is 0 because all the elements in the leading entry in the first row is 0. Similarly, all the entry in the leading row below the leading row, the second row should also be 0. So I have to make this element 0. So what I will do, <coughs> I multiply R3 by 6 and R2 by and then subtract. Okay. So I, I am concentrating only on making this element 0 and not worried about the remaining elements. Okay. So this is equivalent to uh, 6 times. So R3 will change. R3 will change subject to the operation uh, 6 times R3 uh, because both are plus. So I have to subtract 4 times R2. 4 times R2. So this is equivalent to this is equivalent to 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 Then a row 2 is being used so no change 0 6 minus 9 6 then this is already 0. So what happens to this element now? <coughs> In this operation, 6 into R3, 6 into 4, minus 4 into R2, corresponding 6 is 24 minus 24 is 0. 0. Then what happens to the next element now? Uh, 6 into R3, 6 into minus 6, minus 4 into Corresponding R2 minus 9. So this is 36 minus 36. This is also 36. This element is also 0. Okay. What happens to the next element? Next element is 6 into uh, R3 is 2. R3 is 2. 6 into 2. 6 into 2 uh, minus 4 times <coughs> corresponding element R2 is 6. So this is 12 minus 24, that is minus 2. Minus 2. Now look at this thing. Leading entry in the second row is to the right of the leading entry in the first row. Leading entry in the third row is to the right of the leading entry in the second row. The perfect all right. So this is the echelon for. This is the echelon for of the matrix A. So therefore, the rank of the matrix A is equal to number of non-zero rows. 
of A in its second order is 1, 2, 3. So rank is 3. Rank of this matrix is 3. So in this example, yet determine the value of P such that such that the rank of A which is given by 1, 1, minus 1, 0, 4, 4, minus 3, 1, P, 2, 2, 2, 9, 9, P, 3. So here, uh, rank of A is 3. It is a 4 by 4 matrix. It is given that its rank is 3. For what value of P it is so? That is the question here. So as usual, we write our A. A is given. So I can directly start like, like this A is equal to already matrix A is identified <coughs> it is given a name to this matrix now <coughs> leading entry in the first row is one advantage so I can easily make these three elements zero by subtracting after multiplying by suitable and non-zero constant <coughs> So what I can do, R2 will change subject to this operation, R2 minus 4 times R1, 4 times R1, R3 will change subject to uh, R3 minus P times R1. P times R1. R4 will change subject to the operation R4 minus 9 times R minus 9 times R. So I get equivalent matrix. <coughs> Row 1 is being used. Row 1 is being used. So, I will not disturb this 1, 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, <coughs> then 4 minus 4 is 0, again 4 minus 4 is 0, minus 3 plus 1, minus 2, minus 3 plus 4 that is 1 then 1 minus 0 1 so 0 0 1 1 now I have to multiply R1 by P and then subtract so P minus P is 0 2 minus P so this is 2 minus P then 2 plus P 
2 plus p minus 1, 0. And this is 1, 1. <coughs> minus 3 plus 4, 1. Okay, fine. 2 minus p. And 2 minus up, that is 2 plus p. This element is 2 plus p. Then, uh, because this element is 0, nothing will happen to this element. This is 2. 2. Then we have 9 minus 9, 0. Again, 9 minus 9, 0. Uh, p uh, minus of, that is p plus 9 plus p. 9 plus p. Then uh, nothing will happen to this element. It is 0, 1, 3, 1. Now look at the second row and third row and fourth row. 0, 0. And here reading entry is third row 2 minus 1. So I have to push this to the bottom level. So I will interchange R3 and R4. So this is equivalent to interchange R3 with R2. So that is R2, R3. Interchange R2 and R3. So again, equivalent matrix, equivalent matrix. So only R2 and R3 are interchange. So R1 will remain as it is, minus 1, uh, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2 minus P, 2 minus P, I am interchanging R2 with R3, 2 minus P, 2 plus P, 2 plus P, 2. Now R2 will become R3, 0, 0, 1, 1. Then R4 will remain as it is, 0, 0, 9 plus P, 9 plus P, 3. Okay. So leading in the second row is 2 minus P. And all the elements are 0. So go to the next row and look for reading entry. Reading entry in the third row is 1. And it is to the right of the reading entry in the second row. But elements below the reading entry in the third row are not equal to 0. So I have to make this element 0. Very simple. You know, multiply this by 9 plus p and then subtract. This will become 0. So this is equivalent to R4. R4 will change with respect to the operation R4 minus 9 plus P times R3. Nine plus P times R3. So you get the equivalent matrix. Equivalent matrix. Uh, R1, R2, R3, you can simply write down 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 2 minus P, 2 plus P, 2 plus P, then 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, uh, 9 plus P, minus 9 plus P, times R3, corresponding element is 1, so this is 0, okay. <coughs> 9 plus P, minus 9, minus P is 0, so. the next element, 3, minus 9, plus P, times, R3 that is 1, uh, this is equal to 3 
minus 9 minus 2. So 3 that is minus 6 minus p. So minus half 6 plus p. So this is minus half 6 plus p. Okay. Okay, it's perfectly alright. Perfectly alright. Leading entry in the fourth row is to the right of leading entry in the third row. This is perfectly alright. But it is even that. Uh, uh, there are four non-zero rows here. One, two, three, four. Four non-zero rows. Right? But it is given that rank of this matrix is three. That means three non-zero rows only should be there. So therefore, to make this zero row, this element should become zero. So minus six plus p should be equal to zero. Therefore, p is equal to minus six. <coughs> Since the rank of the given matrix, since the rank of the matrix of the given matrix of the given matrix is three, is three, <coughs> is three minus of six plus p should be equal to 0. So therefore, uh, 6 plus p, uh, p is equal to minus 6. So therefore, p is equal to minus 6. Therefore, p is equal to minus 6. So for this value of p, the given matrix is of rank. So let me consider another matrix. This is a 4 by 4 matrix. Its rank is less than or equal to 4.
थ्री माइनस वन वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वन माइनस वन जीरो वन वन माइनस वन So now, I have to make this to entry zero. The current in my entry is zero. I have to make changes in R two and R three. So how do I do that? So A is equivalent to one and zero. The same entry is equivalent to R two will change with respect to this operation two times R two. Plus R one, it has already minus sign is there. Two R two plus R one. Then uh, similarly, second one also same. R three will change with respect to operation. Two R three plus R one. So you get equivalent matrix. So row one is being used. So minus two, minus one, minus three, minus one. Okay. <coughs> so now look at this. Uh, changes here. So two times R two, two times one, plus R one, that is minus two, is zero. So this element is zero. Next, two times two, R two, two, plus. R corresponding R one, so four minus one is three. Four minus one is three. Then similarly, two times three, this element. Uh, then we have plus corresponding is minus three, so this is six minus three, 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 three. Then lastly, two into minus one, two into R two minus one plus R one. R one is minus one, so this is uh, minus two minus one minus three. So this is minus three. Similarly, similarly, what happens here? This is zero. This is zero. Then we have two into uh, zero. R three zero minus a plus R one. Corresponding element is minus one. So this is minus one. Minus one. Then similarly. Two into R three, two into one plus R one. That is minus three, uh, minus one, minus one. Then lastly, two into one corresponding plus minus one. So this is plus one. This is plus one. Okay. Then row four we are not going to touch it because already zero is there. One, one minus one, or one minus one. Okay, so now this is the leading entry. This is the leading entry. And to make these two entries zero, these two entries zero, R I can use R four and make these entries zero and then interchange. That is also possible. Otherwise, also okay, no problem. So what we can do? What we can do to make this zero, uh, R three will change. R three will change uh, by the operation three times R three because there is already minus sign plus R. Similarly, R four will change 
with the operation 3 times R4 minus or minus R2 R2 minus R2. So you get another equivalent matrix with this operation. Now R1, R2 are not disturbed. Minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1, 0, 3, 3, minus 3, 0. So now what will happen to this one? R3, R3. So 3 into R3 is minus 1 plus corresponding R2 plus 3, 0. Then similarly, next is 3. Uh, R3 is minus 1 plus corresponding R2 is 3, so this is 0. Similarly, 3 into 1 uh, plus minus 3 0. This is also 0. Now, R4 similarly because uh, okay, R4 3 times 1. Uh, minus R2 corresponding to 0. This element is already 0. This is 0. Next, 3 times 1 corresponding minus 3 is 0. So this element is 0. So 3 times minus 1 minus R2 minus some minus 3 corresponding element. So minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So this element is also 0. <coughs> So this is perfectly the Agar form. Look at the second row. Leading element is 3 to the right of the leading element in the first row. And uh, there are no leading entries in this third and fourth row, all zeros. So number of non-zero rows is equal to 2. So this is the Agar form and its rank is Agar form. Agar form. So therefore, rank of the matrix A is number of non-zero rows in the Ekran form. So that is 2. Rank of A is 2. So with this, I will conclude today's lecture and continue the remaining portion in the next lecture.